Hello guys, welcome back to the news. You would be shocked. Sources have revealed how the Edo State Governor Godwin Obasiki asked his deputy Shuwaibu to drop his governorship ambition before accepting his apology. Guys, this is interesting though. I mean, a whole Governor Godwin Obasiki of Edo State was said to have told his embattled deputy Philip Shuaibu to forget about his governorship ambition as a condition for him accepting his public apology. On a say matter full ground. Before now, it was reported that uh, the deputy governor of Edo State, Philip Shuaibu, begged his principal, uh, Governor Godwin Obasiki, to forgive him. For all his wrongdoings, he should forgive him. He should temper justice with mercy. He should forgive him. Let bygones be bygones. So that they can work together as one. For the progress and for the betterment of Edo State. He apologized. He went down you know, on his knees. He, he stooped himself so low to tender apology to um, his boss, Governor Godwin Obasiki. After a feud that threatened to, you know, disrupt the governance in the state. And then, all this apology came after, you know, the deputy governor whose office was relocated into an uncompleted building. Asked the governor to please forgive him. Urging the governor to please that they should set aside their differences, their political differences. And they should focus on the affairs of the state. They should focus on the affairs of the state. They should work together so they can develop the state. I mean, before they were together, to an extent they became the envy of the entire country. They want to go back to that bond they once shared. Shuaibo had begged Obasiki that he want to go back to the relationship they once had. I mean, they had this very good bond. And also... They had this good relationship and has promised to be a loyal servant. And I said, please, he should forgive him. According to Philip Shuaibo, he took a personal vow to support the governor. And that is what he, he would do. He won't go back on his, on his words. You know, all this issue of uh, apologizing and all of that came when we started seeing that the relationship between Shuaibo and Obasiki reached a boiling point it was as if these guys were you know going to a to, to fight a war because the battle between them was a heated battle and then we saw that oh shuaibu was locked out of his office so and then this situation generated a lot of attention from the people people were now raising questions ah, ah, what's happening between uh philip shuaibu and the uh, governor godwin obasiki so Philip Shuaibu did not want this issue to escalate. So he had to, you know, stoop to his to his news and tender apology. But now, waiting can they reach us now be say this governor Godwin Obasiki don't just say before he go forgive Philip Shuaibu for everything we don't do. Say he has to drop his governorship ambition. He has to forget about his governorship ambition before he can you know, consider accepting his apology. You know, not see all this katakata between uh, Governor Godwin Obasiki and his deputy started when Philip Shuaibu started nursing his ambition of becoming the governor of Edo State. That's the next governor of Edo State. Without the consent of his principal, without the consent of his boss, Obasiki. So, Governor Godwin Obasiki felt betrayed. He felt that uh, this guy is trying to you know, go through the back and become the governor, the next governor of the state, without consulting him, without asking for, you know, at least to consult him first so they can rub minds together. You see, for Philip Shuaibu to nurse ambition on becoming the next governor of uh, Edo State, it's not, it's not a bad, you know, uh, it's not a bad thing. I mean, there is no way it is written in the constitution that a deputy uh, governor cannot become the next governor of the of the state. It all depends on how the party, you know, works. 
to bring up the next uh, governorship uh, uh, candidate for the party. So, as it stands now, Obaseki was feeling that this guy wants to kick him out. Too. He wants to go through the corners to remove him from office. He thought that Philip Shuaibu wasn't loyal to him anymore. So, this feud started, you know, this feud started. And Shuaibu has been locked in a war of attrition, of attrition with the governor of his ambition to succeed him as the next governor of Edo State. And had made the plea in an interview with journalists last week. So, reacting to Shuaibu's plea, Governor Godwin Obasiki said his deputy must first drop his ambition that's his governorship ambition, before the rift between them can be resolved amicably, according to several sources. So, Obasiki, who returned from his yearly holiday overseas over the weekend, stated that he would have no business with Shuaibo until he demonstrated perfect commitment to him by publicly renouncing his governorship ambition. The governor reportedly summoned all Edo executive members to Lagos for a two-day uh, session. The, the deputy governor was neither alerted nor invited to the meeting, which took place last Saturday and Sunday. And according to sources, the state executive council meeting for this week was held in Lagos till Monday, the 25th, 2023 of September, with the exception of the deputy governor, all ESCO members were invited to the meeting. And according to report, Obasiki has threatened to redraw Shuaibu's security vote and bar, and bar him from all government activities, including ESCO's meeting, if he participated in the People's Democratic Party primaries. So to prevent public, uh, public criticisms, the governor was alleged to have instructed his handlers to schedule an ESCO lecture a day before the meeting to allow third parties to participate so that the meeting would not be regarded as formal but emergency ESCO meeting. Also invited to the meeting was the chairman of the board of trustees, Asu Alo Dulo, Ago Dulo, who is the governor's appointed candidate for the next year's governorship candidate. And it was expected that the governor would unveil and introduce his successor to all ESCO members in Lagos this week. But efforts to get official confirmation on the ESCO's meeting held in Lagos failed, as no aid of the governor was willing to comment. Meanwhile, the governor had also held similar meetings with 24 members of the State House of Assembly a fortnight ago far away in Ra, in Wada. Yes, my country people. So, this issue is very, very complicated. I mean, Governor Godwin Obasiki is trying to put Philip Shuaibu into a very tight condition. He's trying to put him in a very tight condition. So, he has given him an ultimatum or a condition that CCCO, this is what he wants. So, for him to forgive him, he has to drop his, you know, his governorship ambition. And so many warnings have been coming for Governor Godwin Obasiki and his deputy Philip Shuaibu that they should try and settle their differences so before the next election. So the PDP can have hold in the state to retain the hold the PDP have in the state because with all these differences, with all these political differences and this crisis between the governor and his deputy, it would give room for the APC to take over in the state. So my country people, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comment section. Thank you.